is second to none. This is a very difficult time for you as graduates because you're, you're faced with many questions, many of them unanswered. It's a, a time when you're entering the unknown. You're moving into another larger community of school. This is family, this is home. A collegiate is a larger place, probably three to four times as large. That many new faces, new structures to work in, and in some cases, some enticements that aren't open to you here. In education itself, we're undergoing a lot of change. And you have only to read the newspaper every night and you'll find an article on education and what's wrong with it. And you're right in the middle of it. You're in the middle of what is known as the transition years. And hopefully the changes that have been made in program for next September will help you in making this large leap from grade 8 to grade 9. As a former high school principal, I'd like to share a couple of things with you and your parents. The most successful students in high school are the ones that get involved in their school, no matter where it is. <clears throat> you get involved personally and positively, whether it be in sports, music, drama, or the various clubs. But there's something for everyone. But through this association with other activities, you bond with your new school. Too often young people go to high school, they arrive at 10 to 9 and they leave at 310. And they miss an awful lot. Choose your friends carefully. You know right from wrong. You certainly do around here. And I hope you exercise the same type of, of uh, good management when you go to high school. Because there are things available through large groups. Um, to the parents, let me make the plea that this is not the time to let go. Your involvement in your child's education to this point in time has been very important. I suggest to you the next four or five years are going to be just as important. And don't let your young student tell you that you're not, you don't need to go to parents' nights or you don't need to go to the parent-teacher meeting in high school. You're needed as much if not more so now. So be a part of your school next year. If it's West Hill Collegiate or Wolverton or Borden or wherever it is, be a part of the action in that school. And let me tell you from the board's point of view, you're more than welcome. You have a lot of investment in your youngster and you want to do the best for them. Well, uh, one other comment about high school, that's probably where you will shape the majority of your friendships for the rest of your life. And if I draw an analogy between this, this school and a small town and the collegiate or high school as a city, you, maybe you'll get the, what I'm driving at. But you have to make the place for yourself, and you have to have your own identity in that place. Don't be afraid of it. You've had an excellent grounding here, and you'll be ready, and you'll be able to, to make it. But be your own person. Don't be guided by any negative influences. On behalf of Mr. Campbell, 
and the officials of the board, to your parents, congratulations on a job well done, and to you, the graduates, our wishes for every success in your future.
David Curlew. Jennifer Delorier. Michelle Delorier. James Friesen.
J.B. Simpson. Uh, in addition, several students have made exceptional progress. Uh, their accomplishments in various areas deserve special attention. Mr. Erickson.
to learn to fit into a new, a new culture. People would be to do things differently, speak a different language. But also to learn the English for the different subject areas. It's a very difficult task. I'm recognizing one student who has best demonstrated consistent effort and accomplishment both in ESL class. His best effort and accomplishment both in ESL class as well as in his regular classroom work. We're very pleased to present the ESL award to Lucho Kermuskowski.
Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, like as most of you people are Toronto fans, I would rather suspect, and I think that over the, the past few years, uh, for those of you who are Toronto sports fans, we've had some pretty good bumper years. Uh, going back a few years ago, the Yard was, of course, winning the Great Cup uh, last year, the Blue Jays winning the World Series, and this year the Leafs winning the almost Stanley Cup. Um, I'd like to think that we've had some pretty good bumper years here at the Trail as well. Now, Sadly to say, I don't think that this was one of them. However, I don't know. We didn't have any sports this year. But that doesn't mean that we didn't have any athletes. Um, we had some terrific athletes here. Now, it's my pleasure to sort of describe to you the female athlete at Military Trail. Now, there, you have to have some very fine qualities to be a female athlete. And let me just go through some of them. Yes, it's sweetheart. Yes, yeah, wonderful, polite, pleasant. And oh yes, it helps that you have a few athletic skills too. And believe me, this young lady does. I don't think I've ever seen her in the hallway where she doesn't have a smile, doesn't say hi, and how are you say. And I think that's part of track and field, a part of sport. And although she only competed in one um, sports activity, I knew the reason for that, we only offered one this year. It was track and field. Now, she was on the relay team, and she also did an excellent job at the spring. It's my pleasure to ask Nicole Lloyd. Mr. 
excellence to the most deserving students. The recipient of this award always gives her best in the class, around the school, everywhere. Just a joy to work with that teacher. And as I like to say, when the job is very well done, magnifico. This gal produces work that is just unbelievably great. It's beautiful. And it now gives me great pleasure to present this award to Eva and Jacob. <coughs>
Good afternoon, honored guests, friends, staff, and fellow graduates. I am honored to be delivering the vows of your address to the graduating class in 1993. It gives me a chance to present my feelings on behalf of my fellow graduates. Our first thank you should be made to our parents, for it was their inspiration and perspiration that pushed us to do our homework and concentrate hard at school. I love my parents very much, and I thank them for being with me to thick and thin. Next, I would like to thank our teacher, Mr. Lehman. To me, Mr. Lehman was not only a teacher, but he was a very good friend. He would always use time for me and others to come and get some sort of counseling, whether it was for us work or just a sympathetic ear. Mr. Lehman always made humorous reminds about when he was in school, which also made being in his class fun. In addition, Mr. Lehman is a very difficult teacher who has prepared us well for high school and made us strive for excellence through hard work and dedication. I hope the great seven class will love him as much as we do. Mr. Erickson is a very talented musician and teacher. Through his abilities, he made us one of the best elementary bands in the school in Scarlet Park. He strived for us to play and perform as much as possible. He taught us how to play stage band pieces such as Blues Machine, All Things We Can, and Rock Around the Cup. We thank him deeply. Our history teacher, Mr. Lawrence, was always so excited to start a history session, or at least he pretended to be. His enthusiasm towards history not only brought the past to life, but made history live right in the heart of the classroom. Mademoiselle Tate, as a professor of the strong family, elle est un nouveau bambin en famille et permet à aucun prof de français. Elle, comme ça. En tout le monde, elle fait que l'élève en septième année de le donner à aussi de lui que nous, pensant aux années en vivre. For those who do not understand French, what I just said was Mademoiselle Tate is one of a kind of French teacher. She taught us well, and there is no other French teacher like her. We can only hope that the great seventh will cost as much trouble as we did. Mademoiselle Tate, the luck in the future. Mr. McCarthy is one individual that cares very deeply about her computer. She hated when everybody moved the keyboards back and forth, so she nailed them to the desktop. <laughs> Mr. McCarthy would always help somebody who demonstrated talent with the computer or wanted to do a project. If it weren't for her, those of us, those of us who don't have a computer at home would have would be would have been at a little disadvantage. Thank you, Mr. McCarthy. We can never forget the teachers from previous grades, for it was their teaching that gave us each a set of stories that lead, that led to this day. I especially like to thank the coaches who gave us each the opportunity to participate in all types of sports. All of the teachers taught us the importance of teamwork and friendship. Our class is really like a family because most of us have been together for several years. We are like brothers and sisters. We still argue together, laugh together, work together, but most importantly, look out for each other. I look at all my fellow graduates and realize that only a few will cross my path, my path at West Hill and that I may be seldom, if at all, of it who are not going to one school, but to another high school. This year has been full of wonderful memories. Most of these memories were made at Carnage, where we did things like orienteering, swimming, canoeing, and hiking. The hike was so, so long, but funny, because we went, we went across the bog, our sky fell into the creek. Another time while we were playing the game, Predator, Robert ran into a tree. <laughs> We have the teachers to thank for making these memories possible, including the trip to Teddy Co Creek. Matt fell into the water and frightened a big fish up the creek for me to catch. <laughs> memories like these are hard to come by, so I know I'll never let go of them. This great day class is a special class. I will never forget the good times and the bad times in the past. Even though many of us will be together next year, I will miss each and every one of you. Except for the staff and students I am leaving behind at this school, I have grown to love. Years from now, we will come together again and remember the time that we had at the school. The 1992 graduates would like to thank Mr. Faulkner, Mr. Leland, and Mr. Lehman for making this year possible. The best year we ever had. We've enjoyed the trips to Kearney, Wonderland, Penny Kofi, and the tours to the pool party tomorrow and Mr. Lehman's house. We will all try to do our best at our high school because we are the graduating class of Military Trail. Military Trail, yes.
has been my home for the past 10 years, and I will come back to visit as much as I can. To my friends, I say goodbye, and I hope you all do well in the future. Thank you.
Let's, let's, let's get it, let's get it. Shout out the first person. <laughs>